The next part of our superhero, we're going to do a little bit of mixed media. This means we're not just using one thing to add our color. We're going to have more than one thing. So for all the little tiny details on your superhero, we're going to use permanent markers. The reason we're using permanent is the second part involves watercolor. And watercolor and regular markers usually don't mix well. If you get them wet, they're smearage. So for anything tiny on your page, like on my shield, that's tiny. I will go through and use permanent marker for that. All the big things on your page are going to be watercolor. All the things that I consider to be small are colored in with the permanent marker. Our next step involves watercolor. And we're not just using the straight colors from the tray because we can do a little bit of mixing and create something called intermediate colors. If you have a Pranger Crayola set, your colors are already in color wheel order. We're ignoring the black and the brown. So if you take colors that are next door to each other on the color wheel and you mix them, you get something called an intermediate. You take a primary and the secondary next door and they make intermediate. So a red and an orange make red orange or the orange and the yellow makes yellow orange etc and pretend this is a circle we can also mix these two so these get mixed together these 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 and we go back around the purple or violet and the red make red violet and when you name an intermediate you always name the primary color first so there is no green yellow there is yellow green <laughs> So you are not mixing everything, just you can use those to mix and make new colors. Let's say I want my superhero to have yellow orange hair. I can take some yellow, put it in my tray, clean the brush, take some orange, also put it in my tray and mix. And if the color is not yellow enough, I can always add a little bit no more and get myself a nice yellow orange for example or maybe you want your person to have a yellow orange face so it looks like they're glowing we can use that too I think I'll go for the yellow orange face they'll look like they have a nice tan if you run out of the color then do your best to mix it again and try to get it so it's about the same color so now everything that I needed to be the yellow orange color is done. The face, the hands, finished. Now when you're working with watercolor, you never want to paint two totally different colors that are wet right beside each other because then they'll end up bleeding together. So right now my face is wet. I don't want to work on my hair because if I paint my hair, these two colors can run into each other and make a big, big mess. Now if that does happen on accident, you dry your brush and you sweep it across like the world's tiniest mop. Your best plan of action though is to skip around. Make sure you do not have two wet colors beside each other. So I'm painting my head, I'm gonna let it dry and work on another area of my person.